Among the people we talked to were people who were part of Maslow's inner circle, people whose lives were touched by her, some who were there during the difficult circumstances when she stepped up to become the first woman mayor of the city of Pittsburgh. Powerful political leaders, average Pittsburghers, people who knew her personally, gathered to remember Sophie Maslow, the personal qualities that touched them and touched Pittsburgh. I would have to say that she thought of other people before she thought of herself. She cared about the individuals and the family. She brought that to the mayor's office. They recall the night she was thrust into the mayor's office from council president by the death of Richard Caligiuri. We left the hospital. We went to her apartment. We said, you know, Sophie, you're going to be the mayor. And she had some misgivings about her as she has expressed. There are some people that, um, like Sophie, had kind of a quiet strength that maybe we didn't realize until they were they had the challenge thrust upon them. What kind of a person she was, those laid the foundation for her becoming the kind of political governmental leader that she was. Yes, she was the grandmother figure, but she was still more. As she worked her way up that ladder and arrived at the top rung. And that's a, that is a remarkable American story. She's the embodiment of the American dream. She was a very calm person. Um, she wasn't rattled by political firestorms. The child of Jewish immigrants raised in the Hill District. We have a special affection for uh, Sophie Maslow. Uh, we'll never forget her uh, because she never forgot us in the Hill District. I've never worked for somebody like her before. Um, the kind of um, integrity and devotion far beyond herself. Many of Maslow's inner circle have kept in touch with her over the years and with each other, regularly meeting with her and conferring with her. They said she was mentally as active as ever, even up to her later days. Reporting live in Squirrel Hill, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.